Hello people, and welcome back to part 28 of Novaria, our city's skyline snow build. We'll be all having a wonderful day. Thank you for the support on Sunday's stream. Uh, we had a little time celebrating 35k subscribers together and introduced uh, some more high density developments into the downtown alongside the rail. Also had a wonderful idea provided by subscriber Bart to bring in some nature reserve fence in between the rails to help highlight the approach into the downtown. The, the blacked out <laughs> downtown. <laughs> Happens every time now. A little bit more kind of highlights the approach, right? Makes the uh, the rails stand out a little bit more. And then we also worked on a little town uh, to accompany our uh, fishing marina from last episode as well. It just turned out quite nice. And now I've got some little uh, tiered, high level green cities houses sat on here. So some desirable hillside living to look out at the rest of the area from this point. Quite nice. Enjoyed it. So thank you for the support on the streams. I'm really glad that you guys. I do still enjoy my little hangouts every Sunday. I really do appreciate it. And uh, how about the skyline from this point now, right? It's nice from here, isn't it? It's looking good. It's looking good. However, in today's episode, uh, I want to jump across the uh, opposite side of the uh, high-density riverfront that we're developing here uh, and start working uh, with some European buildings for the first time in Bavaria. Uh, we've got a couple of things to factor in. Uh, we have some symmetry to respect, of course. Uh, there's a real nice kind of symmetrical development beginning to make itself known down this central spine with the arterial, the shopping plaza, and the pathway. So we want to make sure that we continue to uh, respect that symmetry. So instead of respect the topography, we are going to respect the symmetry today. Uh, we also have arterial we're able to bring through from way back when, when we built Minor at Square. We now need to bring uh, some road networks over this side of the map. There's also a monorail to come into this side of the map as well. I also want to use the old Market Street station today as well from the Content Creator Pack. Um, very kind of nice looking cute European building. I know this will definitely work nicely alongside uh, some larger European themes. So, plenty of ideas to get involved with. Let's build the European riverfront, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is come ahead and upgrade this front road into arterial now. And because we're going to be bringing monorail... Into this side of the map, we are going to make it a monorail road. Okay. Let's go into our small roads. We're going to grab a little two lane with grass. We're going to make sure our road guideline uh, snap is on here. Because again, we want to respect the symmetry. So we can come out uh, following the road guideline of 10 markers here. Okay. So let's just bring it up by uh, 700 for right now. And then we'll worry about some asset orientation and placements as well. So let's take away this road, uh, because we can use this as an excuse to bring in uh, one of the monorail station uh, with road uh, right here. So we can align this uh, nicely with the pathway. Okay, to snap into the road as well. I think we're losing too much. It's not quite symmetrical, is it? Let's get this aligned. Okay, there we go. I'm fairly happy with that, okay. Then, of course, this is going to be a nice opportunity to bring in and continue to develop the walkability of the area by hooking in uh, all these pathways that feed over from that very rich commercial waterfront that sells nothing but tinned fish, of course, from last episode. There we go. Okay, so again, lots of decoration opportunities over this side, exactly how we've done uh, over this way. Nice to see some people picking up these walkable keys now, too. Hopefully see this duplicated on this side now as well, today. Alright. Very nice. So of course we're in a new area. I'm going to leave the game paused for a good chunk of the start today because uh, they're not hooked into the road network. So why don't we place in police station and fire station as well. Alright. That's not too bad, I don't think. I would definitely want to bring... Uh, these supporting networks out a little bit because I do want to place some uh, some plazas out the front of this so why don't we bring in a connecting road here and then let's actually get the station in first too let's come into our content creator pack so we want to go for the old market street station this is going to be our centralization point here okay yeah, let's make sure that it's Still continue to work. Yes, please. <laughs> that is uh, hugely satisfying, isn't it? Hmm? Hugely satisfying. Very nice indeed. This wasn't planned, by the way. This is kind of accidental symmetry. So with this rail station, 
all of its train lines are elevated, which can make it quite hard to use. But I think what we're going to do is bring them out by 10 or 11 tiles either side. And allow them to stay elevated for that duration. Because I think if you start coming down like this, it makes the station look quite weird. I don't think we'd really see that in real life. And then what we'll do is we'll come into terraforming and we're going to create a little embankment with a medium brush size. We just want to bring that up to as close as the height we can get it. I think that'll be good. So let's do that. So let's push out a big uh, land mass now. And then we can let these uh, rails flow out across the land. I think that certainly makes uh, the, the rails a little more palatable, doesn't it? And we've got plenty of opportunities here to start bringing in uh, some different train lines. We can take one out to Nowaria. Uh, we can also feed one into the airports as well, eventually. Uh, over there, we have another outlying town that'll sit over here. And of course, into the powerless burning downtown, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Ignore this. It does fix itself. Uh, how many train line platforms do we still have free here? Yeah, we've still got a few, so that'll be alright. Uh, although we don't want to take up the platform that intercity trains are arriving from. We are getting 660 people in here now. So it'll be interesting to see how this performs against uh, the old Market Street station. Yeah, but of course, we're placing a new transport hub uh, that's using trains, so we actually want to go ahead uh, and just level this out again a little bit. We just want to connect in every train line at the minute because we want to find out which platform uh, is accepting intercity trains. And success, intercity trains are arriving on the very back platform here by the looks of it. Yeah, very nice indeed. Cool. So, now sever every connection uh, but that one. So leave that connected, we know that's accepting intercity trains. And we do want to just make it a little smoother though, so let's come into our slope tool with a medium brush size. And then just slope up here. Alright. Then we can align with the road guideline. Make this uh, a little smoother. And then we'll leave this running past the junction. Of course, don't want to connect it too close, otherwise we'll start running into uh, train issues. And then that can go off down there. Very nice. And then what we can do with these is now come back into our terraforming. And maybe with the middle two, we can feed these over with bridges. And with this one again, we can feed it uh, up a slope and into the rest of the train network. So we'll bring these out on a low elevation with no road guideline. And we'll come out and we'll just elevate as we approach the edge of that little lip. And then we should just have a little simple time uh, crossing everyone over in a fairly sensible manner. And then we can leave these two train lines here. Well, just as a reminder that, you know, we do want to expand uh, the train infrastructure as it flows over to that point in the barrier. But for right now, we have those two connections as and when we want to use them. Okay. Very nice. So some very dense training infrastructure happening here. Lots of decoration opportunities with oil fence and overgrowth around here. Uh, we can do some fairly nice things with this, I think. So let's briefly uh, rethink the front of the train station here. So we're coming out by 600 each side. I do want trams in here, so let's knock this over by a tile. And we'll start bringing through a tram road here, which can now flow under the rail and into the rest of this uh, European area that's going to develop out this side of the map, okay? And we won't want this to come all the way down, so let's make sure we terraform properly here, push that in as far as we can go. This one, do we want to... Yeah, we might as well just keep these ones exposed as bridge as well, right? That's going to look a little bit nicer. And then uh, we can generate some uh, tram turnaround point here, which will continue to contribute to uh, the transport hub that is going to appear here, of course, now. Uh, let's save three tiles between the arterial and the tram network. So we can have a nice tram turnaround point connecting with internal trains, intercity trains, monorail and trams now. So yet again, another little mini transport hub that's developing as part of our build. There's also some folks 
waiting here as well. Where are you going? You're leaving the city. But you're waiting on the wrong platform. You okay? <laughs> There's no city trains arriving here. Yeah, the, it's arriving on this platform, guys. You're on the wrong one. Are you all leaving the city? Okay. So it looks as though... The old Market Street station, it wants to accept intercity trains on all platforms. The glass box transport hub wasn't behaving like this, right? There's not people waiting on unconnected rail lines here. No, only on platforms where there are trains arriving. Okay, we're living and learning. So it looks as though we can actually connect them to all platforms. I don't know, we'll kind of see how that develops. But ideally, only we'd want them on one platform, not all four. But we'll, we'll just wait and see, okay? We'll see what happens. Okay, so we now have this uh, road coming out here. Let's bring that up. And then let's have a look at some plazas. Uh, so we've got plazas with picnic tables. Let's see what we can do uh, with this here. But we put a couple of these next to each other. All right. And then again, there's plenty of pathway opportunities here now to come into our grid with uh, perhaps some regular part pathway. Continue to increase uh, the walkability of the city. And then can we reinstate the fire station here now? I hope we can. Let's come back into that European one. Yeah, and we can place that there, which is going to be quite a nice time. All right. So, of course, these guys uh, have no road connection into the rest of Nevaria, which is not ideal. So we want to work on that as soon as possible. Uh, let's clear away all of this forest right now until we know what's going to lie here. All through here as well. So we'll let that run straight up. This would probably be kind of the main road through this part of town. Uh, and we'll connect it into the highway here uh, at some point too. Uh, let's grab a little a little cross junction. Let's maybe go for this one here. Okay, create a nice little... I might do like a little diamond square here. Uh, something very similar that we did in Palavan. Uh, you know, those that watched Eurovan. Uh, where we had all the museums around kind of a central little European cross junction like this. Some nice themes and ideas we can take that in today. Uh, so we'll also elevate this as well. Let's grab this height that the rails are on. And then we'll start to create a little bit of a mound for us to ascend and cross over the rails here. Alright, and again, slope it down. Nice smooth approach. And then we can bring this up. Then why don't we use one of the bridges here? Uh, we have European four-lane stone. This might be quite nice. Are we happy with the European stone? I think it's too bad, right? I think I'm happy with that. And then we'll bring it straight up out here. Uh, so this is currently American Trust, so I want to upgrade this into European Stone as well. As it comes back down into Minot Square. Again, let's make sure we're maintaining a nice, sensible height. Up and against the highway. It's always nice to see kind of very thick road infrastructure running parallel with each other like this as well. I think I enjoy that. Then we'll come onto road guideline, and then hopefully a nice smooth curve in. And this will provide us one connection into the rest of Navaria, but of course as this area grows, we'll hook into the highway and develop a new road network out here. Uh, have some kind of cargo harbour uh, out this side as well. So it will just kind of mould into the rest of the city now. Very nice. So hope to see some people. Yep, there we go. That's one of them. A little police car went over to this side of town now. I know, what a wonderful view to that skyline from here, right? A little bit of yes, please, for that view, everyone. Alright, very nice. So let's actually start bringing in uh, some European assets. So we already have a district out here. And we will name this uh, Riverfront after one of our wonderful Patreon subscribers, of course. And we will go for the Exe. River Gardens. Of course, the wonderful map maker that made this map for us. Thank you for your support, big lad. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy uh, your little riverfront here. 
So let's work on getting some residential into the area. We want to snap to just row length and angle here. And let's start bringing out... Again, we want to make sure we're saving three tiles all around this tram interchange here. That would be nice. So we'll come out from this snap point. And then we want those back-to-back uh, -back, uh, four tiles here, but we're on a slight elevation. So we're going to need to bring a touch more terraform along this rail embankment. Might as well push it right up to the rail, I suppose. There we go. And then we can bring these back to back now. We'll come in here and end it there. And then let's just get a nice big block uh, of organically zoned high density residential. Uh, I'll also go and hook the monorail in now as well. So we'll hopefully use the monorail passing through this area now as well. There he goes. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Very nice indeed. Oh, there's two. Okay, whatever. Uh, so there is some really nice uh, repeatable patterns we can get in uh, with European identity. Let's move our time of day along a touch here so we can actually see the buildings. Okay, so I'm happy to let it grow up organically, but we could use... Uh, plot the growables here later in the episode to uh, find some of the patterns, but I'm happy for organic zoning to appear here. Have we seen anyone using the walking paths now? Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. Very nice indeed. Where are you all going, I wonder? Plaza with picnic tables, leaving the city. You're leaving the city on your bike, are you? I wonder where you're going. Yeah, so there's people starting to move around here now, isn't there? Yes, please. Yeah, so we can now trim off uh, this tram road here. Let's go for a nice road. A little, little treed one. Okay. Yeah, so let's get some trams flowing. Uh, we're going to want a new tram depot over here. There's no point trying to bring out a line from the current existing ones. That would be too much of an effort. So we'll just place in a new one. Let's come out here. So it would be nice to position it somewhere behind the transport hub. Let me drop in a little... A little cafe action just to please these. Uh, hopefully a couple of restrooms will just sink everyone through. Yeah, until it meets up anyway, just so they don't abandon. Uh, so yeah, I'd like the the tram depot behind the train station if possible, because I think the assets will work quite nicely together. So let's see how we can position this. So we'll come out by 6.30 instead. And boom. And then this should allow us to, again, continue to increase the walkability around the back of the train station. Very nice. And then, of course, we want uh, the trams to actually hook in. I think we'll go for a tram-only road here. And we'll connect that into there. Then we can trim up all this support network now. And then this can receive just a regular road connection. So I think I'm fairly happy kind of including the tram depot as part of the kind of larger public transport centre that's going to develop on this side of the map, right? Oh, look at all leaving the station now. People using the car parks underneath as well. Got some cute little food stalls under the market too. I guess it is an old market, right? So it would make sense. Um, do you want to use the pathways? <laughs> use my paths. Where are you going? Oh, you're all going home? Are you the new people? Are you the new residents? Yeah, they're all going home. So these are the new people. Lots of kind of beige t-shirt wearing dudes as well. Is that because they all work at the wood plant? No, no they don't. Okay. People picking these pathways up now too, which is always nice to see. Alright, let's get those trams flowing. And we will need to make a little... A temporary tram turnaround point at the bottom here, just so we can see see them going. Uh, let's pop in. We'll pop the stop here. And that can run back up this way, and then complete the loop. Of course, it will expand further around the city as this area grows, but for right now, that should give us what we want. Uh, let's dive into the world of European uh, uniques, because there's probably some nice things we can use here. Uh, the Gherkin would be good. Government office. How about the hypermarket? How about this up and along the waterfront? Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think I hate that. I think we can get on board with it. And we're still within our European zone here as well, so let's start maybe introducing a little bit of that high-density commercial to sit alongside this, and we'll of course want to continue the embankment out this side as well for these rails, so we'll get that set up as well. So we definitely want the monorail to continue running in this area. I'm going to snap to the road guideline with a freeform tool, and then to start to align it with that walkable seawall key. Keep it going, and then we know that we'll probably have monorail flow into the cargo harbour at some point over here. Okay, and then we can continue to do what we did last time with this. A little block of high density uh, commercial over this side. Uh, so let's go for... Again, those four to four tile-ins will be nice, I think. And then we'll get some more commercial in here. We're getting a little bit of wind gym for some uh, for some workers, so we want to satisfy that. Also getting garbage demands over here as well. Now we will need to develop a garbage processing station for these guys, because they are fairly far away, but for right now we'll just stick a couple of recycling centers down uh, where we know we can move them. Just so they get served. We've got some crime over in Minor Square as well, by the looks of it. I wonder if that's because you're not connected to to a road. No, no, it got fixed. Okay. Okay, so I want to continue to add uh, some taller buildings in here. So I think very much like we've done uh, at this train station, we've used some very kind of tall, repeatable assets to line the rails on the approach. I really kind of like this vibe. It's quite Soviet, isn't it? And um, but we're not going to go for a residential. I don't think. I think we're going to use a hospital. And actually, we, we might do some residential, but I think the the European hospital here on the side, which of course bring these guys uh, level up a little bit, giving them some healthcare. But again, I think this will be a nice drive by uh, into the station, right? Big hospital sign, especially at night time as well. We'll have a little look. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay, isn't it? Okay, not bad. And we can extend our district out. We might also paint this up on over this side of the rail too, because we know we'll be using some European themes over this side as well. Very nice. We will, of course, continue to expand this area out during our live streams and work on some European patterns together. So the hour at 7pm at UK every Sunday if you'd like to come and join us. Alright. And then let's bring this one down here. Again, we can just let a little batch of uh, organic high-density residential grow up over here. Yeah, these guys are going to want schools, of course, and whatnot, so let's go ahead and find uh, a spot for uh, an elementary school along here. We can maybe place this uh, along this arterial. Although I do want to save some space here for that diamond uh, junction to come into play. So let's work on that before we do. So we'll feed it as a one-way system. We want the road guideline on because we want to see these little blue circles. Okay, I think we can get on board with that. We might widen this out, but we won't be working on this part of the map in today's episode anyway. So it's not going to be too much of a problem at the minute. Again, these guys will want water and everything else. Bring in the road. Okay. It's starting to come together, I think, isn't it? I think it is. Lots of deeds here we've done around here today as well. How are we feeling about this hypermarket next to all these European commercials? Don't think I'm hating them. I think it's all right. So we'll place the elementary school on the arterial here where we initially had it, just on the opposite side of the road. Go and dump some soil back into the mountains. There we go. I did have a comment last episode saying that you guys pr pretty much wouldn't mind now if I uh, just turned on unlimited soil, which we probably will do. Uh, when I remember to do it. Let's bring our road here, and then we'll go for European high school. Again, considering... Asset orientation. I think I'm fairly happy with that as it is. 
We can also bring in a road uh, behind this now to box in that concrete texture so it doesn't look quite as naked. And then of course we can accompany with this with perhaps a gymnasium here. A couple of snow parks maybe. Maybe a regular tennis court. Something like that. And bring this behind. Box it in. And then we can make this like a little private path network. Let's bring in uh, some zoo path into the grid. And then box all this off. Okay, just treat it as an extension of that high score. And we can also prepare some further road network to come out here as well. We know this will carry on flowing down this at some point. Probably come into the highway and then this can come up as well and connect in. Okay, not too bad. But I think that feels like a good place to jump into a detailing time lapse, guys. We have the bulk of the building now and there is a lot of detailing uh, to be done, of course. We want to mimic some of the patterns that we've got on this side uh, with the waterfront. Uh, lots of fencing, of course, and uh, very repeated landscape tree patterns. Uh, repeat the palavan pines at each of the bridge crossings. I uh, bring some fencing up alongside our rail embankment. I'll also go ahead and get uh, the rail lines hooked in so they can flow into the downtown station too. Uh, and then more detail along here. Lots of trees and fencing. I uh, detail all these little spots that have made themselves. Uh, known outside of the Market Street station, do some nice designs with the tram interchange here as well. I uh, got some part life assets in, all our usual little bits and pieces. But it's there. Uh, I think I'm happy with it. It's quite a nice little style, isn't it? Very different to the uh, very rich commercial waterfront we have on this side that borders the uh, the main skyline here. So I think we're going to have a nice time. But either way, let's detail it up and see what we look like come the end, shall we?
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, likes, comments and shares below really help me out. And equally as much, if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. If you're also interested in supporting the channel, there are various links as how you can do that down below. Really happy with the Exe River Gardens, a nice blend of the European assets around the old Market Street station, which is the first time we've really used this asset. And some numbers around it, it's pulling in around 430 to 600, fluctuating depending on the intercity trains and the usage of the internal lines. Those internal lines do now connect to No Waria and into the central downtown, and we have two more lines available to expand out as and when we need those rail connections one of which will more than likely lead to the eventual airport builds but otherwise do hang around for the outro touch there was a ton of detailing you guys wouldn't have seen and this thing holds a really really nice view at night time uh, over to that chicago inspired skyline so uh, do let me know what you think of it down in the comments below otherwise i will shut up and i will leave it there i want to thank you all so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day